why most developers actually don't test, and it's not because they're lazy, it's actually for a good reason. So their boss or team lead might just want a feature done as quick as possible. Now think about it in their perspective. Why should a feature or say you're a entrepreneur, your company owner, and you want an app built for your company, why get your app built for $2,000 in four weeks, then get an app done for double the price and double the time, or just why, you know, they, they don't really know, but they, it's about time and money, and for a company, for example, they might want a feature done in one week, they might want an app done in a month or so, and that's a lot of pressure on the developer to get it done as quick as possible, and they have to make a one sacrifice, and that might be testing, it might be on the design, it might be on their code legibility, so they have to make a sacrifice to get it done quicker, so they kind of just take off testing. And that is a very common trend I see with a lot of developers. A lot of, a lot of developer uh, developers actually they do they take off testing first. And that's to be honest, I would take off testing first if time was a huge, huge issue, a huge, huge issue. But I would rather not do that. Like there are certain cases why you shouldn't test. Maybe I'll make that into another video, but um, that's a very big reason your manager <coughs> might be wanting you to get a feature done as quick as possible, like in a week or two weeks. And you just can't fit it all. You can't just do TDD and have a good design and have clean code and have the feature work and be presentable in a week or two. It sometimes just isn't possible. You have to take something out of the equation. There, there is another reason, and I would think it's because just people don't know, aren't aware of testing. They know about testing. They know, they might know the basics how to test, but they don't know why they should be testing, or they don't know the more, the more, um, the more advanced, but not not advanced, more um, useful cases of testing. You don't need to be advanced to start testing, but um, you should know the basics and a little bit more than that. And they just don't know the benefits of testing is what I'm, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is they see testing as something that just takes a long time and that just takes that just makes the features take much longer to take. They just don't know the benefits of it. And I think that if managers and team leads would know about testing and, and also that the developers would know about testing and the benefits of testing, there would be a lot more testing. And that's why developers don't test.